In this video I'll explain how to force R to show numbers with scientific notation using the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. So in this video I will show you two examples and both of these examples are based on the example vector that we can create with line 2 of the code. So if you run this line of code you can see at the top right of RStudio that a new vector object is appearing which is called x and we can print this vector to the bottom in the RStudio console by running line 3 of the code and then you can see at the bottom that we have created a vector object containing four numeric elements. However, you can also see that at this point our vector is not shown with scientific notation. So if we want to print our numbers with scientific notation, we can use the format C function as you can see in line 5 of the code. And within the format C function we have to specify the name of our data object and then we have to specify the format argument to be equal to the letter E. So if you run line 5 of the code, you can see at the bottom that our vector is returned once again. However, this time our numbers are shown with scientific notation. You can also see that our vector has been converted to a character string. So please note, if you convert a number to scientific notation, it will be shown as character string. So in this first example, I have explained how to apply the format C function to create a vector with numbers in scientific notation. However, you can also see that the scientific notation digits do vary between the numbers. So if we want to harmonize those digits, we can use the digits argument within the format C function as you can see in line 7 of the code. So in this case, I want to specify that I want to show a scientific notation with two digits. So if you run line 7 of the code, you can see another output at the bottom in the RStudio console. And as you can see this time, our scientific notation is shown with only two digits. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching, see you in the next video.